Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of Fury of Dracula. Uh, in this one, I am not playing as the Hunters, I'm playing as Dracula. Um, I have a rematch here against Roscoe, and uh, yeah, he's mixing it up. Oh no. Oh, he hasn't got his pencil. Oh no. <laughs> that's it. Okay, that's it. Victory confirmed. <laughs> Uh, if uh, Roscoe doesn't have his pencil, then it's uh, it's GG. <laughs> and he's gone with a really uh, different setup here, and I'm already kind of freaked out. Um, mm. Well, if that's the case, I think I'm going to start with the east. Um, so I move away here. Um, Yeah, the side of 49. Yeah. I don't normally like starting east, but the fact that there's only one hunter here, I'm going to give it a go. Roscoe's done this to me before. He uh, he likes to do slightly different setups. Um, and I'm so used to the... I don't know who who invented the setup, but the setup where you've got Gadalming and Mina in the east, Van Helsing in Britain, and then Seward in, in Madrid. Um, but Roscoe's been mixing it up against me, and I get a little bit freaked out, so that's your intention, Roscoe, then well done. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously, because I'm playing as Dracula, um, there's not going to be so much going on, but I can still <laughs> commentate on what's happening. Um, I hope the microphone is picking up my voice enough. Um, just an FYI, I'm recording this on... Friday night, the, the the other video with Roscoe where I've got commentary has gone live today. Um, and yep, this is my sort of my first real opportunity to record uh, since then. Um, but it's uh, no, I'm not in France. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> um, um, but I'm recording this at about half ten at night, and the rest of the household is asleep, so I don't want to wake them up. So if my voice is a little bit quieter, then that is why. Ugh, I do not have hooks. That's annoying. Uh, well, that it is then. And uh, not that. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. That'd be a terrible idea. Um, I should throw down a vampire then. Hmm. I already don't think that starting in 49 was a good idea. I should have started in 50, and then I could have cleared 50 with the misdirect. Oh well. It is what it is. Um, I should be checking what Mina has. Um, ah, she has a sense of emergency. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Just usual stuff. He's just supplying and getting tickets at night. Um, hmm. I'm not normally a fan of dark calling, but I might do it actually. Yep, get rid of this. Yeah, let's hope I get something good. Uh, well, that's okay. Um, got a reckless, got fog, got a hoax. I might actually throw down the hoax, just because why not? His attention might be distracted by the vampire and not actually by... Uh, he'll be worrying about clearing the vampire and not clearing the hoax, so... I might move to like 53, drop down something like uh, I 
bats maybe and then move 28 and put fog yeah not fog the hoax hmm. i can work my way then down this way perhaps oh he's probably going to check the uk here he doesn't want me uh being cheeky and going to the uk since he's left all this open Yeah, that's the problem, getting hide scouts early. I'm not a fan of it. <clears throat> yeah. I like getting hide scouts later when... Uh, I mean, that's a good pick, I guess. Um, I like getting hide scouts later when potentially Dracula has wolf formed and you can start eliminating stuff. Or if he's gone to sea. Um... I mean, getting the is okay, he's ruled out this, but he still hasn't ruled out everything here. I, I could still be in the UK, so unless you get all of them out. Uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I mean, I never turn down a hired scout if I get one as the hunters, but if I get one early, it doesn't feel great, honestly. Especially when you get all of them out. It doesn't feel good at all. Yeah, I might throw down a bat, because just in case he tries to move to take out this vampire. Ambush ambushing with the bats here. That was stupid. I, I should have hid there. Oh, I am bad. I am very, very bad. I should have hid and then used bats. See, this is what happens when you play Hunters all the time. You don't know what you're doing as Dracula. <sighs> that one. How not to play Dracula. <laughs> I will admit now, I am not the best Dracula player at all. Um, I like playing as Dracula. Um, okay, I think I'm going to have to clarify that, because otherwise Quincy will have a heart attack. I don't like the character as Dracula. I just find it interesting to play the role, okay? <laughs> Um, it's nice seeing it from the opposite perspective. Uh, this is something I was having a conversation about with um, some of the other players in the community. Um, we're trying to help out some newer players, and uh, yeah, to become good with the hunters, it's actually very advantageous to play Dracula. Uh, and then same, if you're wanting to be good Dracula player, it's important that you understand what powers the hunters have. And uh, you can't account for everything, obviously, because it all depends on what events they get um, and all that sort of thing. But. You can start planning around. As Dracula, you have to make certain assumptions. Like, for example, I have to assume that at some point in the first week, newspaper reports are going to be drawn. Whether or not he'll be able to use it immediately or not, um, it's a different matter, but. There's always the expectation they're going to have newspaper reports, even though I think somebody told me. Is that Warecraft? I think it was another player told me recently that the chances are like 40%. I haven't done the maths, so I assume. I just assume that the maths is correct on that. Drawing newspaper reports in the first week, there's like a 40% chance ish. Um, yep, still not there. <laughs> um, And I actually don't want to put down my hoax now, because if if by some miracle this vampire matures, I don't want the hoax to be cleared off. Yeah, 
He's like the bodyguard, just means a little bit of a, a trap here for him. Oh, he's moving. Ah, no. <laughs> he found me. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I did not expect him to move as quickly as he did. Uh, I could have ambushed him there, but I want to make him waste a turn. Um, searching it. Um... Oh, well, he's forcing my hand earlier than I wanted. Ah, nice. <laughs> oh, now this makes a big decision for me. Do I start moving back this way? That's a bad idea. I'm moving into three hunters. That's just not a good idea. In general, as Draco, you want to be, always be moving away from the hunters, not moving into them. Now, of course, then, it's a little bit of psychology because um, the hunters might think, oh, hunt, uh, Draco would never backtrack here, and then he does. <laughs> um, go on, waste a turn. No, you're not wasting a turn. Oh. Okay, he's forcing my hand. I can't. I wanted to go to 22 here and spent ages just meandering around all this, but I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to have to go to 10. And then decide where I go. I'm going to move to 10 and throw down the mob. I mean, he might actually move it to this space, but... <laughs> ah, there's the newspaper reports. I wish I'd played the bats now. Oh well. Maybe that's why he didn't search it, because he knew newspaper reports was coming and he didn't want to deal with it. Uh, is he... Do you, has he got a stake? Hmm... Yeah, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Let's have a little bit of early combat, shall we? Um, I could have tried to bluff him. Uh, but if he searches, he's just going to search for the stake anyway, if he has one. Hopefully I can do a little bit of damage to him. Um, he might think, oh I'm going to... I think he's gone punch. I didn't, damn. <laughs> damn. Okay, well that's right. Yeah. I mean, it is right for him to go escape. But it's very easy to mesmerize um, an escape, so then a lot of the times the hunters will play punch, because they want to block the mesmerize. Um, so, I only did two damage, so that's probably going to get staked, so that's uh, yeah, the vampire gone very quickly. Um, Oh, okay. <laughs> Wants to catch me quick.
I think it's too likely that tomorrow he's going to move to 50. Look at Darling. So I'm tempted to move to 17. So uh, Mina's sense of emergency was probably given to Seward, and then uh, she's now got a escape route. Right, go on, just show me your stake. Yeah, there you go. Don't expect this to be easy at all. Roscoe's a very experienced player. Uh, he plays, well, at least against me, he plays a lot more Dracula. I don't know if that's because he prefers playing Dracula or because he wants me to get more practice as the Hunters. I'm not quite sure why. I've never asked him, actually. Um, he's got a lot of experience under his belt, so... Um, it's not going to be easy. But as long as it's a good game... Obviously, I want to win, but if it's a good game, I don't mind if I win or lose. Oh. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, could I? Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I could have been in Italy, actually. Yeah, that's probably a good thing for him to check. I could have gone 59th. No, I, I can't be in Italy. Uh, was he just doing that for... A bit of fun? I'm not, I couldn't have been in Italy. Um, uh, yeah, since that man I got cleared, I'm gonna pop down another one. And I think I might hide. Yeah, hide. But I won't put down fog. I think I'm gonna put down maybe like rats or wolves perhaps. And then feed and then escape. Um they're not all gonna be on me, it might just be Godal thing I have to deal with, but that's okay. And then feed and then pff, I'm gonna have to go to at least the Ionian. Ah, I could have moved to fifty. Damn. Hmm. I'm trying to look at one thing and then something else is happening on. Uh, when he did his mystic research, enraged and darkness returns. And hidden skills. Got discarded. Darkness returns would be good. Okay. Mina has fast horse. Good to know. He's pro I assume his horse economy is nicely set up. He wouldn't be using fast horse already if they weren't. So. Um. A spy would be nice to try and force him to discard some of his tickets. Uh, it's just too easy to discard a weapon, especially at this point in the game. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stay put. Um, oh, that's the question. What do I put? If I put walls and they reveal two weapons, then it does no damage to them, whereas rats is a guaranteed two damage. Um, I 
Or do I place down bats? So then if they try to get in, they get sent away. What are the chances that this thing's actually going to mature? Very unlikely, right? I'll, I'll take the damage option. Uh, promote this to a layer, yes. Oh, I'll just throw the wolves into there then. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, <clears throat> I could have gone 50 yesterday, then he would know I'm in 55 or 45 now, or 56. Uh, I kind of prefer being here. I've got a long. The problem is when I go to sea, I've got a much longer way to go. Um, if he's gonna commit, it looks like he's hanging Seward and Van Helsing back, which is, I think, the right thing to do. You don't want to overcommit too far here, because I just go to sea and I pop up like around here, and then he's got a very long way to get back. I think I'll feed the turn coming up, just in case things go south if these... Okay, he's checking that I've not gone backwards, yep, that's... That's fine. Uh, could I have been there? Oh yeah, I could have gone to 28, I suppose. And then 11, then 58, and hide, yeah, so I, I could have been in 58. That would have been probably quite risky for her to walk in like that, but... Especially if I hid in 58. There could have been anything waiting for a, for a risky but he, he knows more or less where I am. Yeah. Wait. Did he just get that now? He's night supplying. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that, Roscoe? <laughs> oh, because he, he mystic researched, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he mystic researched. So he is he is completely safe to do this. Um, there's only two on the one, because four Dracula got discarded, so he can't do that forever, so that's good. Upgrade as a lair. Um, I mean, yeah, if they renew Vigor they can get on top of me, but I think only two of them could. So yeah, I'm going to feed now and then I'll go to sea. I might keep moving, depending on how things look, but it looks very likely I'm going to go to sea, let's be honest. Um, this thing is just going to mature, which is very annoying. Oh, he's made a surprising return already. Why is he doing that? Because he wants to know where I am? Already? He knows there's no way I can be here, right? I have to be in these spaces. And 17 and 56. Um, is he just going to let Cesar so get mature? He has to be there with somebody, right? I mean, it's actually good that this thing's here because he's going to have to deal with this. Um, I'd be very annoyed if it's, if he ignores it. <laughs> I'm going to have to taunt him a little bit.
I mean, he's doing the right thing. He has no idea what is here. Um, there's going to be something really nasty waiting for him. Ah. Okay. Deal. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> um, can he actually get to me tomorrow? Um, oh, if Mina goes here, then no. I don't think he can. Well, yeah, with Kadami, yes. Kadami can certainly come here tomorrow. That's not a problem. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, yep, he's going on to 53. Um, and then she's going to get delayed and punted back. Um, no, not ambush with you. Make you waste your action. Um, I assume Van Helsing doesn't have horses. The fact he's use rail here. So if I do go here, Mina's gonna get delayed and pushed back. So even if he does renewed vigor, I think the only person who can catch me is then Gadalmi. So I, I might be cheeky and uh, do, I, do I risk it and I go to fifty six? I don't, I don't really want to use my fog. Uh huh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Ooh, with chartered carriage, you can actually get here. Doesn't make good YouTube, but I'm, I'm leaving. Right. Uh, yes, reveal this to a lair. Um, not that anything's going to probably come to it. Ooh. Ooh, I wish I hadn't done that now. Uh, did I put the aristocratic there? Oh, this feels really bad. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, up at the bats in case I'll uh, really double aristocratic damn. Yeah. Uh, my mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he still has to deal with twenty eight. Uh, I can't remember what is in twenty eight. Ah bodyguards, okay. And then there's the mob in Bucharest, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, no, you know what? I'm just gonna make him search for these things. Make him waste his time. Now, I'd love to be able to go Black Sea, Ionian, and then land in like 46 or 3, and then get to 55, but he's not gonna let me do that. There is no way he lets me do that. Not a chance. Do I punt you actually to Belgrade? Yeah, you know, I'm going to punt you to Belgrade. I want to see what you have. I want to see what items you have. 
Okay. So it might have been another weapon, or it could be Heavenly Host, or it could be a steak. Um, as a workout, I should say hello. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to 28, so this is going to mature. <sighs> oh, I like that. I like it. I like game bodyguards to mature. Um, if you don't know what it does, the matured effect is so the normal effect is the hunter suffers two damage, and then they will take an extra two damage and become delayed unless they reveal a weapon. The matured effect then means uh, it stay the bodyguards stay in play, and any time no oh, sorry not any time the next time. Uh, I fight a hunter with Dracula, and that effect just immediately triggers. And it's very easy to forget about. So I'm going to move here just so there's no surprises. Uh, no, I want this to mature. I wish I had put the hoax there now. <sighs> Could have got Darkness Returns. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Someone's having some problems with the, <laughs> the text box. Uh, Sister Agatha. Oh no, he used Sister Agatha as search, didn't he? Yep. I'm surprised he did that. I, I just assumed he would keep it for the ally. Especially when he did surprise in return to bring her back. Hmm. Okay, he wants to block that off. That's entirely reasonable. <laughs> Thankfully, he doesn't have Rufus Smith in play, so I'm not going to take as much damage. This is the one thing I don't like as Dracula about starting in the east, because the hunters can just block this off, and then you're forced to go to sea. Um, I normally start in the center of the map because it gives you a lot more options. Um, there's probably a way I could have done all the shenanigans a lot better. Um, I'm tempted to go Adriatic, and I then land, put some things in southern Italy, and then go off into the Tyrrhenian, or whatever. I think that's what I want to do. Oh, I do actually want to promote this to a lair. I want to try and... I don't need all these aristocratic vampires. I'm just not good... A 
little bit more variety of my uh, encounter. Is he going to pay money trail on me now? Hmm, I'm trying to work out what event he could have, which means he's getting this prompt every day. It could be Speedy Telegraph. It's probably Renewed Vigor. I have to operate under the assumption it's Renewed Vigor. Uh, ah, there's no reason why I don't rats here. So let's kind of swap these around. There we go. Now you're going to reveal a rifle or a pistol. No. Okay. And then reckless. Oh. Tree gig. I don't know how I feel about playing Planned Ambush against a, a vampire. I think the fact this is about to mature, I can see why he's done it. Um, if I can keep this Reckless alive, I have to operate under the assumption he doesn't have a... Uh, he doesn't have a... Ah, oh, where's a Heavenly Host? Uh, where's a Fangs when you need one? Is he going to use Heavenly Host against me? Nah, surely not. I'll just do strength. So he can't use any weapon against me. Uh, if he uses Heavenly Hose, I'm going to be very annoyed. The one time I don't draw fangs. Ah, okay, so he's not. He didn't use her. So if I can, if I can keep this reckless vampire alive, it might actually mature. I mean it's coming in, so there's a chance that Mina will kill it with a stake if she's got one, but hmm. now I've got the fangs. Um yeah, I think I'll use the fangs. If he tries to escape, I'll get a point out of it, at least. That's where he plays a knife or something. Yeah, he's got a knife. Hmm. Okay, good for him. This is awful. Um, can I escape? Ah, uh, no. Do I have to wait one more day? Is that how it works with... Ah, oh, that's very annoying. Oh, I'll just have to claw him then. <laughs> that's not a very good hand at all. Uh, I think I, ha I can escape the fourth one. Oh, he has a double knife. Okay, well. If I don't draw another strength or mesmerize, then that's what happens. Oh, well, alright, good for him. So holding that fangs one turn wouldn't have made a difference. Um, so that's okay. ally then, because there's no point searching. Hmm. There is another option here, that I don't go to Italy. I will form to 25. Ah. Uh, problem is, I don't have. My feed is still on cooldown. I 
he's so likely to check 25. High wolf form is so obvious that I go there. Good thing good darling and mean over are out of position. Well, for now at least. Uh, if he has renewed vigor, he'll be able to get here pretty quickly. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to wolf order 25, and then if things go really bad for me, I can escape to Turinian. If I really need to. Oh. What? <laughs> what was that triggering? <laughs> Did he... Did he accidentally search Constanta? Or was that like from the, the fight? <laughs> What was that? <sighs> I could even go wolf form from fifty seven right from Adriatic to twenty five. And then if I have fog and I'm protected, I can then backtrack into Italy a little bit and then go to Turinian. Hmm. Options. Do I do it? Or do I? Yeah. I put in fog? I guess I have to put down fog. Because it could just be a 2v1. So yeah, I have to try and put down fog. If he has forewarned, then I'll get some good YouTube. Fog. Oh, I have vampire. Uh, reveal Constanta to a lair. <sighs> no, not really. Because at this point he doesn't know what sea I went to. I could I could have gone to Turinian and I could be as far as uh, Marseille. So I kind of have to hope that he goes to Marseille and jumps over me, but he probably won't. If he has fast horses, he might. But obviously with the train, he's up to thirty-seven. Good, he doesn't have full ward. Okay. Ooh. Good thing is his horse economy is not perfect because he's still drawing all these one tickets. So um, I have a I can buy myself a bit of time here. Um, I might just keep moving west if that's the case. Is he gonna have fast horses on Seward? Uh, ah, 
Ah, because he wants Agatha back. Yep. Yep, because he doesn't need to know. He doesn't need uh, avoid combat. Yes. Um, yep, he doesn't need uh, Dr. Von Halker anymore because he is where I am. Uh, I need to get this feedback. Um. I'm just gonna keep moving. Uh, can't r can he can he rail any other way? Nah, he can't rail through Genoa, so I'm safe to do this. I'll put down the desecrated soil. I would feed, but I can't, so I just need to keep moving. Um, Kadal needs really far out position. Um, Mina has horses, so she can't get to me quickly. Can? Oh, that's a uh, good darling. Okay. Okay, so he's not as far out as I thought then. We'll be able to get to 58. It's not far away from me now. Okay, that's a good check. He wants to make sure I don't I haven't gone down into the boot. Um, so he has rolled that out in one go. Uh, I'm trying to think where I go next. Um, obvious move is to go down into Spain. I'm. Mm. Oh, where's the Ionian here? Thirty-six, fifty-four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I only would have fallen off the trail by then. So I could. There's a couple of different options here. My thoughts are going fifteen, thirty-nine. But now because of this moving here, I don't think I will. Oh no, my housing can move. I think I'm going to go to 54. I might put down a vampire in case they do manage to get onto me. Um, Mina can definitely get to 54. Well, assuming she draws good fast horses. Uh, Van Helsing might too. If they've got renewed vigor, then. Uh, I don't know who has fast horses and who doesn't. That's the thing. I just have to assume that everybody except Gadalming has it. Um, I'd really like to leave a double vampire in Barcelona. If that's where I do decide I end up going. So the question is do I risk it? Do I risk it and not put it down now? Um, nah, I can't. I have to put down a vampire now. <laughs> That's just being a little bit too greedy. If things go right, I can move down to eight.
No, oh, it's still not playing whatever that is. So he knows I went to Marseille. Uh, no, no ambush. I'm gonna make you waste a turn. Um, now is Mina going to come to 54? and then go to one just to make the trail a little bit longer and then go into Mediterranean and then if I move three Mediterranean to Rinian, Ionian he won't know if I've gone one way or the other I mean he might no, he has a stake. Okay, good to know. Oh, thanks for the fog. Uh, I got rid of the wolves. How do I? Oof. Ah, you know, I'll just keep everything. I mean, he might be able to find out which direction I've gone in with Money Trail, uh, but I would have assumed that if he had Money Trail, he would have played it for the last three C moves I've done. But maybe not. If he has consecrated ground, ah, but it's okay though because I have quite a few different. Uh, he won't have four heavenly hosts. Surely he won't have four heavenly hosts. Nah, he won't play it now. Surely. Okay, well, if, if I get done by heavenly uh, by consecrated uh, ground, then. I deserve it. Uh, I might throw down the spy now. Just for me to get a bit of information. Ah. It's nice to have new players uh, stumbling into our games, and then we can point them to the Discord. Um, yeah, just in case you missed the previous video where I was explaining this at the end, because maybe you might have uh, switched off by then. There's an official uh, Discord uh, that Nomad set up, um, um, and uh, yeah, we, that's how I normally find people to play games with. There's a section called Looking for Fury. And you just write in there um, that you're looking for a game, and someone will hopefully reply to you. Uh, we are quite a small community, and depending on time zone differences, there might not be anybody about. But um, if you even if you don't uh, get a match immediately, there are certain players who uh, will end up contacting you privately, especially if you're a new player. Um, 
to uh, talk to you and then try and organize a game. Maybe try and book a game at, at the weekend or whatever when people have more time. Uh, so yeah, don't uh, don't um, don't be discouraged if you put in a couple of messages on a couple of nights and nobody gets back to you immediately. Um, just everyone's got different schedules and working patterns and things, so it's just sometimes it's not possible uh, to get games. Oh yeah, that's going to get cleared, so I'm just going to invoke it to get even more stuff. Um, I should be discarding stuff here at this point. Um, I'll get rid of the saboteur because that's not exceedingly useful. I'll get rid of the walls. Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I just saw there John Seward has a uh, heavenly host. Which is no real surprise, that's why he wanted to... Oh, he has a stake. I have to ambush. <laughs> yeah, because he has a stake and I uh, don't want him getting away for free. Because when you search, if you have a stake and you search, there's no reason why you would use it. And of course, I don't have a mesmerize. Okay, I just have to hope that he has not played escape here. Ah, yes, good. So that's how the last one should have gone. But well. Um. I could have cancelled that with my strength, but uh, I'd rather keep my strength in case he tries to fight me. I assume he's going to try and escape ASAP because he wants to stake, but um, I can get Van Helsing very low. Uh, I do not have a Mesmerize. They have gone missing, so I'm just going to Fangs because then if he escapes, he takes two damage. If uh, and he escapes. So, I did 4 damage to Van Helsing, he's going to stake me. Uh, if I had Mesmerized there, I would have definitely played Mesmerized, because he had no way to counter it. Um, so yeah. Oh. Uh, well, that's actually quite good, because he can move to Marseille and he can stand. Uh, okay, unless I'm missing something really obvious, the, uh, surely he would go to Marseille and then do Psychic Bond, just to make sure I'm not in 8. He, he could completely eliminate the idea that I'm in France by doing Psychic Bond now. Um, especially if he drew the, the 1, there's no reason why he wouldn't move to Marseille, surely. Um, Oh well. Okay. He's a. Uh, I'm sure. I am more than sure there is a, a very good reason why he moved Mina there, but. Um, I'm saving my fog because I think I'll need it later. The question is which one? I'm going to go to 11. And I will drop. Hmm. Do I drop down two reckless? Nah, I think I'm gonna have to save those reckless for later. Uh, so I'm gonna throw down the mob. Hmm. Maybe I should have put down a vampire because then if I wanted to feed, I could protect myself with feed. Ah, uh, I knew that was coming. This potentially could be quite bad. Um, I've been really greedy here not playing Fog. Um, should have played Fog. <laughs> the 
the good thing is, if I can escape to sea, um, he's just used Renewed Vigor as a really powerful card to not catch me. He doesn't actually. Cause I, the fact he didn't psychic bond, I could have gone 8 to 39. I could be sitting at 39 right now. Ah, but now he rules out now. Yeah, he rules out that I didn't go to 39 now. Um, and maybe depending on what card this is. Oh, that's a very good time to get that. That's a very good time to get that. Um, yep, okay. He picked the right two. And the question is, does he want to come to me now? Is Van Helsing with four health going to come and fight or not? If Mina wants to come here, she's gonna have to. Um, she's gonna have to walk on 48, which means I'll be able to reveal everything she has, or she'll have to discard a weapon. Both are good for me. Ah. Just gonna do a little bit of taunting. <laughs> I mean, he's smart. He, you shouldn't be moving Van Helsing here. That's just asking for very bad things to happen. He's absolutely right. Um, oh, and Mina doesn't want to either. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> Really gonna? Because he's done. He's doing this to avoid whatever this is. No, he can't get. Oh, unless he has charted carriage, he could get here with Godalming. Ooh, what do I do? Do I? Oh, do I be really greedy and feed? Uh, I know Seward could get onto me as well. The other option is I play Fog. I use my second Fog now. You know what? Do I do it? Let me think. Um, I go to C, that'll be 8 health, 7 health, 6 health. Ah, 
let's 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 low <laughs> okay do not do that <sighs> okay <sighs> fun fact um I discovered this before um if you because Dracula's location was revealed if you try to hide um it still reveals Dracula face up. Uh, no, I, for I forgot that interaction. <laughs> Hide doesn't make you invisible. <laughs> um, when you play the physical version, the back of the hide card is the same as any other city card. So it looks like you've moved, but you haven't. And I forgot that was the interaction. Uh, should I just see like I thought. <sighs> Only when you cover your eyes with your hands does that work. Ah, true. <laughs> oh well, okay, if he's gonna, if he wants to come and get me, he can come and get me now. Um, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but as I said, I am not a very good Dracul player, so um, let's see how many move in. Um, if Seward has a three ticket, he can get to me. Mina can obviously get to me. If Van Helsing has fast horses, is he gonna come? Oh, he doesn't. Ooh. And Mina's gonna have to land. She can't stay in this sea space. So basically what I've done here, if he, if he doesn't attack me now, I've just wasted my hide for no reason. Um, which is <laughs> yeah, L learn from my mistakes folks, this is not how you play Dracula. Oh, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to sea and then when I land from sea my uh, wolf form will be back and I can I can uh, uh, wolf form from the sea then feed potentially if I go all the way this way I can't remember how many hide scouts he's used. I should have checked this already. He's used at least two. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to ambush you then. If you're just going to walk into my space. He's used at least two hide scouts. Um. I, I hope he didn't make these moves with uh, Seward and Van Helsing because he felt sorry for me because of that interaction. That was uh, completely my mistake. I knew that interaction. And he got rid of one item, which was... Did you really get rid of your fast horses? Oh, did he forget about this bodyguard card? Well, she has a pistol. And she has something else which I don't know about yet. Because the fact that the pistol's now revealed. Did he do that to get rid of the bodyguards? I mean, I guess so. Uh, yep. Yeah, they're, they're sneaky. That's the thing with them, that uh, when bodyguards mature, they're always here in the in-play section, but if you're the hunters, you know all the cards you have in play, you're going to have your... unless you, you, you've forgotten what ally you have, you're never going to check that box. Um, you're never going to check this section. So, actually, bodyguards can go 
a little bit undetected, which is nice. Right, okay, I'm definitely going to see now. I'm just not risking anything here. <laughs> um, uh, yes. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I'm going to have to put another aristocratic, aren't I? He's got so many of them. What he's doing here, he's done something uh, that um, I've done before. Um, if Dracula's in Spain and then he has to go to sea, uh, one thing you can do is you can put a hunter on Bordeaux and a hunter on Marseille and you supply with them. Or you just take drinking tickets. Um, if you supply and you end up picking an evil presence or a local rumours card, um, it will actually end up giving you a lot of information about which sea space Dracula went to. Um, uh, no. Um, and the fact he hasn't drawn any local rumours and no evil presence uh, actually kind of worries me a bit here. Uh, he could find out very easily where I am. Um, uh, the way it works is evil presence uh, will reveal uh, reveal um, if Dracula is adjacent uh, to a particular hunter. So um, if I was in the Mediterranean, you'd find that out. Uh, the way local rumors works is local rumors local rumors reveals the card on the trail. It doesn't come up with a pop up and say, oh. Dracula's adjacent to this hunter. Uh, the card will actually flip, because I had that situation once when I was playing a game with Roscoe off camera. He went to the Mediterranean, and I think it was Gadalming that was actually sitting here, and he got local rumours, and the Mediterranean flipped. And he was very, very annoyed about it, but. Um, uh, yeah, local rumours, if you get it at just the right time, it's very useful. Um, he has to. I'm going to move at least one more sea space and then I'm going to evaluate what I do. Uh, yes, I guess. Uh, I'm just doing this just to get rid of all my aristocratic vampires because they're never. Good. Probably not how you should do it. Um, So you're just going to ignore Saragossa. <laughs> this, could, this could be a vampire sitting here. He's just not doing anything about it. If I land now in Italy, he'll know I'm in Italy. Because I would never have gone Mediterranean, South Atlantic and then landed again. That's just insanity. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'd rather have it now. Um, I think because he's played that. Um, <sighs> I'll wolf him to five. And then just sit in a five. Um, put down something, probably a vampire, and then feed. They can't get to me in time. Uh, well, she excellent weathers, then she can move. Then she could. <laughs> you don't need local rumours or evil presence if you have money trail. I wonder how long he's had that. I'm very interested to know if he's had that since the first time I went to sea, or he's only just got it now. Or relatively recently, I should say. That's alright. Oh, okay, so he's discarding an item, which is probably the right thing to do. Oh, 
yeah, because I can't hide in Bari, because uh, <laughs> the hide's on the trail. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> um, oh, he's so low on health. Um, yeah, I might just die here just by going to sea so often. Uh, probably not how to do it. Um, uh, oh, to lose to a lair. No. I want to save my, um, I want to save my two reckless vampires if I have to, um, if I have to force myself into a situation, or if I'm, if I'm caught in a corner, uh, I can throw down double vampire and just try and, uh, take out some of the hunters that way. They're all very healthy though. Hmm. Oh, I hadn't—I haven't been keeping an eye on the clock. How long? We're at the end of—we're coming up to the end of the third week. Ooh. Does he have enough time to catch me? That is the question. See, he doesn't—he doesn't know I'm in. Bari. <gasps> oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. So, um, in case you're new, what happened there was he tried to play his fast horses. Um, fast horses allow you to move um, based upon the, the yellow number of the ticket that you get. Um, because that ticket had no uh, yellow value. Um, he got to move one space, but then his fast forces have been discarded, um, which is amazing, absolutely amazing for me. So now Van Helsing is going to be really slow and really awkward for the rest of the game, more or less. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to get through this uh, item deck quickly enough to get those fast forces back out. I mean, Mina moving here is quite a good move. Um, He's kind of anticipating I'm going to go this way already. Um, okay. Uh, buy myself a bit of time and feed. Uh, no. So we're now in the fourth week. So uh, every day that Dracula is able to move um, onto a city. Um, he, uh, he get, I get three points, um, so I need five days to win. So realistically, how am I going to do that? I go to the Adriatic, 55. Oh, I'm going to have to try and go 55, 50, 10, 17, and then go back to sea again. He probably would have well caught up with me by then. Um, it's definitely going to be a, a long game. Yeah, I wish if I hadn't mucked up the Mediterranean thing with that hide. One, two. Yeah, I'd be in the Adriatic by now. Yeah. Come on, what health I've got. Oh.
Which means I would be trying to be sneaky and backtrack, but all I need is for him to throw down consecrated ground and then. Because I can't go to Terillion. Because that's going to be on the trail for a very, very long time. Um, I mean, I could Dark Hall to be. What advantage would Dark Hall give me? It's going to force Mina to go to here. Hmm. Because if I go to the edge, he if I move to C now, he knows I am, I'm uh, in the Adriatic, and then he'll just move to 55 to block me putting down an encounter. So I almost wanted Dark Hall. Uh, I wish I had put down a vampire now, rather than these bodyguards. Um, I think I do this to force Mina to land here. It's not actually for the cards, it's that I don't have to move. Uh, promote Alicante to alert. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll be able to ditch something. Uh, I'll get rid of Bucharest. Uh, anything here I can ditch. Oh, saboteur. So yeah, this is not a... Uh, this is not a... Um, I want a dark hole move. It is... I don't want to move from this space move. Um, and I want to waste his time Godalming moving down here if he moves down here, um, Nina to move on to five. Yep, that's right, you move away from here. Um, I can then go Adriatic, 55. <laughs> yeah, this is a, can be a very, very close finish. Uh, I've got a long. I haven't been able to get any points at all, so needing five days to win is going to be really awkward. I'm going to come and move on to my space Mina. Does he have consecrated ground? Hmm. I probably should have seen that coming that he just moved to 55. I know he has at least one heavenly host. So moving back. I wish I'd moved to like. I wish I'd move on to 40 and then move to 5. Oh dear. Yeah, because I can't even. I can't even wait a turn for the Tyrrhenian to come back off cooldown. It's going to be one turn too late, as always. I always find this when I play Draco. Everything comes off cooldown one turn too late. Oh dear. Yep, uh, it's, uh, hunters are in a nice position here. This is not going too well. It's not really doing damage to me, I'm just killing myself at sea. Um, oh, he has five horses. Okay. Good to know.
all I need now is to go to 3, and then he throws down Consecrated Ground in 55, and then I'm trapped. Uh, I kind of need to go to 46. Um, yeah, I've got Seward much closer to me then. Ah. There's also a chance that he has heroic. Oh, okay. I thought he's going to be trading heroic leap to her. That's also another problem. He might just heroic leap me. Um, I'm just have to move here. Of course, yeah. The Tyrrhenian is just one turn too late. So I'll just. Yeah, this is uh, bad. He can just move Seward to 46, and then uh, I'm completely blocked in. I mean, my other options, if I go to the Black Sea, and then land, and hope that he doesn't realize that the Tyrrhenian was on, still on the trail. Um, but, um, as Dracula, you can never assume that the Hunters are going to do something uh, like you, as a Dracula, you cannot rely on Hunter, like, incompetence. <gasps> I feel bad now for saying that, I jinxed it. <laughs> you, you, you shouldn't rely, as Dracula, you shouldn't rely on Hunter incompetence to win, but sometimes... Oh dear. He did not have his horse economy set up. Um... That is potentially quite big for me now. Question, do I go to Black Sea or do I go to... Oh, I could actually go to Castle Dracula. Oh, now they're all closing in so much. Ugh. There's now two fast horses he's lost. Um, uh, thanks to economies not being as they should be. So there, there are three of those white one tickets in the deck and or in the ticket pile, and you want to try and get rid of them or try and hold on to them. ASAP so then you don't draw them when you're trying to use fast horses but sometimes they're just very stubborn and they stay hidden in the pile and there's nothing you can really do about it um, I mean I haven't been paying extremely close attention but I just assumed that he was doing lots of tickets at night to try to get rid of them and he just got unlucky I just couldn't draw them Oh. Ah, this feels very bad for me. Um, I'm just going to land and hope I can maybe get a kill on Mina. And then somebody else can't get to me. I mean, I could throw down a fog, but... Fog doesn't doesn't help me here. Um, I mean, if she has heroic leap, then yes, it would stop that. But just uh, 
I, I'm going to operate under the assumption that he doesn't have heroic leap, and if he has heroic leap, then that's perfectly fine. I know. <laughs> oh well, if if I'm feeling it, finding it tense, then yeah, it's. Uh... I think it's more tense as the hunters. I think because you're under, you you got like, you're against the clock. Um, uh, do I want to ambush? I mean, there's a chance he doesn't check it and then it matures. So actually, I'm not going to ambush. Um, he still has time to get me. I'm in a very vulnerable state. I can't. Feed. I can't wolf form. Um, I can hide. But that is the best I can do. Uh, the best I can do here is hide. I'll throw down the other reckless in case somebody decides to jump onto me and I can just fight them with double vamp and hopefully maybe kill them. And then. Wolf form to 56 and feed. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is, yeah, this is very tense. I hope he doesn't search with Kadalming. If I can get another bodyguard to mature, that would be awesome. My question is, what's Mina going to do? Is she going to check three? See, there's, going to 3 is sometimes better because there's no rail connection here, so he can't use rail links to get to me. But 3 leaves me vulnerable to consecrated ground. Uh, he's moving away from me. He doesn't have fast horses, so he can't get onto me. So that is amazing. Ah, he triggered it. Okay. That was the right thing to do. I don't feel quite so tense at the moment. Maybe it's just because my <laughs> expectation to win isn't very high. Because uh, I'm not I'm not an amazing Draco player, and Roscoe is a very experienced player. So, um, but maybe if I get like you know if if it if he does get into combat with me, then it's very possible that I'll get a little bit tense. Uh, I need to survive until this wolf form comes back up. So I'm gonna. <gasps> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there was panic there for us on card. Yes, I want to hide. Use hide properly, and I shall throw down. I may throw in another reckless because then there's a. Mm. There's arguments to both. New vampires are harder to kill, so they're more likely to stick around. But realistically, the only person two people could get onto me are Van Helsing and Seward. So I'm going to play down this. Because I might get some more points. Mobari to a layer. Uh, no, you're right. Yeah. I'll then wolf form somewhere and throw down a fog. <sighs> That'll take me on to nine points. Then what do I do? That's the thing, it's just... I hope in some ways he overcommits this way, so I can get to 49 and then go to 59 and then sort of head up north. Um...
Yeah, this is a very, very tense game. Uh, where's the Ionian? I'm just trying to think how I do this. If I wolf form, Ionian's here. If I go to 17, it moves here. Black Sea. Nah, there's one. It's one. Will he have forewarned? That is the question. If he has forewarned, I'm dead. Oh god, let's see what he's saying. Choose your hunter. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, wolf forming to 3 is bad. I could wolf form to 56. 10. Or 49. Uh. I think I'm going to go to 10, because he's more likely to check 56 because on the coast, and 49 because he doesn't want to be going backwards. Yeah. Uh, this way. They have forewarned. I'm gonna throw down the fog. I just pray that he doesn't have it. So I only need two more moves to win. But the problem is I need to feed. Maybe I don't feed then. <laughs> yeah. Ah, if he moves to 10 with Seward, I'm going to be livid. It's almost certainly GG then, because I'm on 3 health, like I can't fight 2 hunters with, <laughs> with only 3 health. Especially since they're full health themselves. I mean, that being said, they don't have many items. Uh, Now I feel the tension level rising. <laughs> he has to check 56, right? Ah, oh, if he doesn't check 56, I could have gone to 56, I'd be fuming. <laughs> ah. This is, is going to go into the fifth week. I don't think I've ever had a game go into the fifth week. Either as the Hunters or as Dracula. There's just been so many C turns and power turns, I've just not been able to accumulate points. Is he. I, I assume the game's not crashed. I assume he's just thinking. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Has he lost now? Maybe. Uh, if Van Helsing doesn't have full wound, then yes. Yeah, right. Please don't have full wound. <sighs> yes! <sighs> Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think he can catch me now. I'm, go I'm, I'm not going to feed now, I'm going to move. It's foggy, avoid combat. Oh, hell yes. Oh no, because it, it gets removed. Oh no, he can move now. Oh, ay, ay, ay.
See, the thing is, Van Helsing has combat cards, so it's possible that he has something like a uh, Hurric Leap. So I could feed, but I want to get a point. So I'm, I'm going to go here. I'll throw down. Uh, oh. Do I do a spy so he sees what I see what he has? I mean, if he has heroic leap, he has heroic leap. I can't, I can't do anything about it. If he can catch me today, without without fast horses, he's got. Because Mina can only move as far as six. She can't get a twenty-two. She can't get a twenty-eight. So I could have done feed in 10, but then it would be a 2v1. Um, I want to try and make it a 1v1. What's he gonna? I mean, psychic bombs gonna be too. I mean, he could work out that I'm in 22, I suppose, but it's too late. Van Helsing is his only hope. His only help is Van Helsing moves on to the spot that I am at. I don't know why Seward should have checked 17. That was an oversight on his part. Uh, I guess the only reason why he wouldn't check 17 is because then I can't win. Oh no, I could move into 56 and I would win. So I'm not quite sure why he didn't check 17. He doesn't lose anything by checking 17. I could have been sit sitting there. And now he's left an open... an empty space for me to walk into. That was a conversation I was also having. Um, I think it was Warecraft told me that um, Dracula can gain F Fury of Dracula points by moving into a hunter, like a city that has a hunter in it. I always just assumed, and I've not paid very close attention to the rules, uh, I always assumed it was um, you had to move into a city which was not revealed, but I was told otherwise, and I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, if the rule is I can just walk into... If I have to walk into a city and it has to be placed face down, then surely you just check 17 so there's no chance of me moving into 56. Um, and of course I do not have Mesmerize. Because why would you give me Mesmerize? Uh, I'll just play a Fangs. One in three odds, yeah. But it could have been a 50 50 odds if he'd uh, gone the right way, if he'd uh, checked 17. Um, so I don't really know why he didn't do that. Uh, I hope he doesn't have heroic leap now, after all this. <laughs> I know I said it is what it is, but I hope he doesn't have it now. Uh, yeah, he has to try and kill me now, basically. <gasps> he doesn't have heroic leap. Oh. Promise, I don't know anything about what Van Helsing's got. Um. He 
doesn't have a heavenly hose because he would have used it in Marseille unless he's now drawn one. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. Now, has he been playing the long game all this time? He has heavily host. I, d I don't know what he has. I have no idea what cards he has. So, do I just. Do I play. Fine, in case he has a heavenly host. Oh, he could have a knife. Uh, oh, this feels really... I mean, I could claw room. I oh, know he might have a rifle. Oh, let's just play strength. I don't think he has a heavenly host. doesn't have heavenly host. He's got his pistol, so good job I didn't claw. Okay. Um I'm trying to remember, he did have a stake at one point, but did he use that? <sighs> did he use it to clear a vampire? I don't remember. Oh no. I have it all written in front of me too, but I don't remember. Write more detailed notes. Is he gonna have something else? Uh, I'm not even gonna look at his message right now. I'm gonna play Fangs, I think, to try and get some health back. If he's used a knife, then fair play. <sighs> Oof. Um. Oh. Huh. Lol. Oh, okay. I for completely forgot about Agatha. Um. <laughs> Damn, Aggie. It's a 2v1. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. Um. I can never escape now. What do I do? Do I try to claw him? He has to dodge now, right? <laughs> Twice. I mean, he's not wrong. Imagine if I got that second bodyguard to actually mature. Um, I think I play claws here and then. I can then play strength the next round. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Got him. Oh, has he got great strength? Oh, is that what he's been holding all this time? Well, uh, how does this work? Does he still punch me? No, 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 no. The uh, the claws triggers. Yeah, that's right, because claws has double. That's unfortunate time. The great, great strength. Oh wow. <sighs> oh, what a game. Okay. That looked incredibly. <laughs> that went. <laughs> I spent so long at sea, I did not think I was going to get out of that. Um, if he had heroic leap, that was GG for sure. Um, yeah, what a game. Indeed. And hopefully the recording is good so that this can go to YouTube. Um, so yeah, um, I hadn't, when I left Spain, it looked like time was really not on my side in the sense it was only at the beginning of the third week, but then I just managed to by the time I left Italy, I'd got into the, f the fourth week. Um, I didn't expect to be able to get five moves, but I did, so... <laughs> Incredible game. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> what else can you say? 
Um, I'll be uh, very keen to catch up with Roscoe now after the game to see what he was thinking throughout all that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this another this uh, installment of Fury of Dracula, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>